I'm Steve Hay, this is Woodworking Masterclass and welcome to the workshop. I'm hoping that's going through. I'll just, I think, yep, got that thing happening there. So I hope it's live. We've had some issues of late. Let me just check. And even the, <laughs> the mouse is playing up today. Oh, it's one of those. <sighs> one of those days. Wait a minute, let me just see. There we go, I'm, it's actually happening, okay. So I'm happy. There we go. All right. What I'm going to do today is I've got some machines that maybe you can see. Hang on, I won't, I won't pick them up. I'll do it this way. It's much, much easier. Where are we? Uh, there you go. We had a, a bit of rain came through and unfortunately... It got one of the bandsaw tables really, really rusty. And also, oh, check out, check out the tidy workshop while I'm here. I, it's one of the reasons I couldn't stream last week because I couldn't find the floor. But now, look at it, all nice and clean. We might get on those chopping boards a little bit later on too. Um, let me just move this around. Here and there you go. That table there copped it. So I'm going to have to clean those up and we'll do a couple of other bits and pieces along the way and we'll see what can happen. G'day, Max, how are you? A very good morning to you all the way down there in Victoria as well. G'day, Alan. Mate, long time no talk. Good to catch up. Where am I? I'm in the middle. I'm in the middle. There we go. All right. So first things first. Oh, it's so nice to have a clean workshop. I don't, I don't know for how long it's going to stay clean. Knowing me, not very long. Oh, but it's nice to be able to work and not trip over things. Uh, well, I must admit, at the moment it's been about four or five days and it's still relatively clean. Those cleaning fluids are going to try for something else. That's kerosene. We'll use it on the... Um, 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 on the rust. That can go over there. Some steel brushes. Don't need that. Tell you what, I think I might just put the air conditioner on. It's getting just a tad warm. I don't know if it's warm or it's me. There we go. That'll do. Oh. Had a great time. Um, actually, I'll post a video on the next couple of days that uh, shows me turning a bowl out of this stuff here. Watch it. Let me do it that way. It is just, it's a bloodwood burl. And um, I was giving a piece, they wanted to know how it would turn, so they asked me to try it to see if it would explode or do anything horrible, which it didn't. Hey, you'll notice, you'll notice too, that camera, look, it's now in focus, it's not fuzzy. Put a new camera on there. So what I've got to do there is put a bit of heat shrink around too, so I don't break it when I trip over it, as invariably I will. Ah. <sighs> Doing some exciting things at the moment, which um, in subsequent streams I will share with you once I perfect the technique. But let's start with this one. Kraken, good morning. Everything is wonderful here. James Bartholomew. Oh, g'day. Welcome to the workshop. Now, that looks to be about a 10 mil. As, as I found out in my life, looks can be deceiving. Uh, but we'll give it a shot, see if it's going to be 10 mil or not. Oh, look at that. Good mechanics never die, they just lose their bearings. So the only reason I'm taking this plate off the back here is Paul, g'day from Florida. Well, hi, how are you? Welcome to the workshop. 
Um, yeah, so I can sand this flat. So I do have a mate that's got um, a milling table and grinding benches, but quite frankly, this is just surface rust. So I'm just gonna clean it off with a half sheet orbital sander and various grades of wet and dry carborundum. I'll just blow that out. Yeah, it's a great little table. This, this actually, I I hate to say it, but this actually is my record, or Anthony's record 250 bandsaw, and it was through no fault of his own that it got wet. It's all totally under shelter and everything. But the rain came in at such a weird angle, it seemed to wet stuff. So if you've got if you've got any machines at home that end up with a bit of rust on it like that, I've got there's another that compressor will stop soon. There's another bandsaw that copped it as well, but I don't think I'll take it off. I'll do it on the on the bandsaw because it's a big bandsaw. It's an 18 inch one. Got problems with that compressor behind me too. I don't know what the GO is. Mind you, it's 30 years old, so might be like me. Might need to be re-sleeved or something or other. Uh, okay. So that one. No, we didn't get flooded, Max. Um, I've got a skillion between two workshops and these machines were in there 99% of the time. Let me just check that compressor. Oh, that's going to do. I'm sick of listening to it. Um, yeah, 99% of the time when it rains, you're 100% dry. There's no dramas. But this just came in at such a weird angle. It uh, sort of came in and up and underneath, and there you go. But all fixable. And I'll take the top off of this sander too. This, I've got to tell you, is... A godsend. I'm not a, I've never been one, or when I first started out, let's be honest, when I first started out, that's all I knew how to do was to sand. And so I had all sorts of different sanders. And then as I got a little bit more proficient with how I did things and what I did, um, I went from mechanized down to a, a cork um, block. And all the fine furniture that I made, I never ever went near a sander, it was always done on a cork block. But then as you do different things, you think, oh, that'd be handy. And this particular one, I use, actually I'm gonna use this on a chopping board, but I also use it um, when I'm doing wood turning, just to knock the dags off bits of stock. And it is great, it's really nice and aggressive. If you want to get something flat in a hurry, this champion will do it. Whoops. But thankfully the motors and that didn't get wet. So it's a little bit of surface. This one, this one's not, actually both of them. Both of them have got wet before. September last year, Mike Davies and uh, Theo and I and Anthony went out bush and did a documentary on doing woodwork in the field and it hadn't rained for months and we decided we'd film early the next morning so we set all the machines up, set all the cameras up. One o'clock in the morning, it started to rain. Good day, Ray. Sneaking in there. How are you, mate? I've said good day, Chad. Have I? Oh, sorry. If not, good day, Chad. Welcome back. Okay, so I don't need this up there at the moment. I'll put that somewhere where I don't have to pick it up. 
Oh, it's heavy sucker too. Mm. Yeah, so in the past, they've both copped a bit of rain. <sighs> Still we'll have them back together, good as new, in two shakes of a lamb's tail. Okay. Now what I start with is an aggressive wet and dry, which will be 80, and then I'll go to 120, then 180, and then what have I got here? Oh, and then I might do a 400 if I've got nothing else there. I'm not going to need 250. It's a bit ordinary. I thought I had some 250. I'll just have a look over in the sandpaper rack. Wait a minute. Be back in a trice. Haven't seen Bob either. There must be food going on at the house or something. Da -da -bum, ba -dum -bum. No, I've got 400, 400, 400, 400. That's it, sweet pea. Just got 400. Well, that's sad. Oh, I've got some. Oh, I might have a bit of that. It's, just, it's not wet and dry, but might, if we need a transition, we can use a bit of 320 dry. So, this is kerosene. Get a rag. Where's a rag? Well, I'll tell you what I do have to do too is um, try getting some stains off some timber, some cockroach poo. Got on some veneer. I'm going to try and see if I can get it off. Actually, I might do that to start with. Might do that to start with. G'day, Jared! Who came in to just leave a dislike? I mean, really? Oh, well, there you go. Mate, takes all types, I tell you. I don't care. I know the people that like me because they, they turn up each week. There we go. All right. Um, oh, I was going to try this stuff. Yeah, this, unfortunately, cockroaches have had a bit of a party on that. So I'm trying to find something that is going to get rid of it. And I picked two um, cleaning compounds. There you go. From the big box warehouse. And I thought... We'll give them a go. And there's a silverfish running off it. There you go. I'm going to be ecstatic if this actually does work. I tell you what. I tell you what, that's not bad. I'll just try a bit of this over this one. <sighs> so how's everyone been anyway? What have we got? Hang on, Max. Ah, uh, then the boy must be up home trying to get... Yeah, that's what I reckon. He's up there. There's food up there or something. Oh, oh, I like that one. Yeah, that one works. That one works really well. Let me go and get some more rag. Not in time. I tell you what, I'll tell you what the test will be. I've got some chest pieces here and the cockroaches pooed all over them too. So we'll, we'll see. Oh. We'll see if it'll clean it off of there, if so on. I'm doubly happy.
Oh, no, that's good. Okay, let's, let's try. I'll, I'll give it a good plug if it works. There you go, that's cockroach poo. Let's see how this goes on. If this works, I'm going to be, whoops. You're going to be, see me the happiest you've seen me for a long time. No, no, I'm never not happy. Always happy. Try the alternative once. Not nice. Don't like being sad. Oh, that's pretty good. All right, so we'll just put that on there and we'll just leave that for a while and see how we go. I'm happy with that. Tis good. All right. Now, good morning, Brian. Lucas, hello, how are you? Good to have you back in. Um, should give you a nice citrus smell to be. Yeah, no, this, this one doesn't smell. I don't know, that one didn't work as well as this one. This one, uh, rust alum. Cleaner and degrees of stain remover. Non-toxic, biodegradable. There you go. Well, we'll give it a go. So we'll see how that goes in a bit. What I'm going to do here, first wire brush. That gets off any, or if you've got one of these. I had to go and pinch these off my blacksmithing workshop, which I don't like because then I forget to put it back and then when I want, want it, I can't get it. Actually, this one... I think he's better suited for this job than this one. This one's a coarser one. Uh, yeah, I think this one's going to be better. I mean, even just doing that, you can tell. Did I get it right? Look at that. I'm starting to work these cameras out. Okay, you can start to tell already, it's getting better, that surface rust is coming off. So I've decided, oh I've just, I have just opened a woodworking masterclass, eBay. Um, whatever you call it, account. Because I've decided all the timber that I've got, I'm going to start specialising in making upmarket chopping boards. Because the ones that are around are a bit ordinary. Yeah, they're cheap and they'll do the job. But I want to start a boutique. You like that? A boutique range of chopping boards. Did I leave a mug here? I did. Let me have a drink of water. Oh. Oh. Do these water coolers are good. I think all together we got six. Sue's got one, I've got one here, got one out in the other shed, we've got one in the house and a couple of in a couple of other sheds. They're good though. I, I didn't know I could get an Amazon store, Ray. How does that work? Do I just go on the Amazon and say this is what I want to do or can I get a dock? Well, I don't know. What am I better off with? Is that um, an Amazon store, .com.au or a .com one? I'll look into it. Oh, I went shopping yesterday um, for a couple of new projects I'm having a crack at. And while I was out, I happened to be in Spotlight. And for those not familiar with Australia, Spotlight is like... The um, 
the Walmart of uh, material. And I went in there and they had some camouflage drill, which is this fabric here. And this apron I've, I've worn and worn and worn for about six years. So I splashed out and bought some and gonna make another couple of new aprons. And I'll video that. I won't be able to live stream it, but I'll definitely video it and put it up. Me on a sewing machine. There you go. Yeah, it's got rid of most of that, I think. Oh, thanks, Ray. I'll check that out. Tug it off. Well, to Portugal. Hola. There you go. Did I get it right? Hola. Uh, great idea. I find gum tree a lot better than that. Um, yeah, look, I'll, I'll go gum tree. I didn't know you could sell new stuff on gum tree, can you? If that's the case, we'll, we'll get a gum tree one happening as well. Oh, that's a side effect possibly I didn't like. It's my, that one's made the timber go a bit green. Well, we'll give it a give it a buff later on and find out. You got to experiment with these things. Don't you you got to try. Oh, let me just get a sucker over here because I don't. Oh, I don't want to put up with that. Compressor going all the time. There we go. The other thing is, if I get the, um, it was Simple Green, what's that what it's called, Simple Green? No, Simple Green, Simple Green didn't turn it green, it was the other one. Oh, it's all right, we'll, we'll have a look in a bit. Um, yeah, it's the sort of thing that, if it works, then I can help the grandkids set stuff up and they can start making stuff and earning a bit of extra money for themselves and good business experience because I, I, I've got a shop set up on the website but I was really questioning whether or not I actually wanted to keep a website because I don't see much value in it because nearly everything I do now is on YouTube. Uh, but then I thought, well, yeah, if I start using the shop, it's worthwhile. Cost me a couple of grand to set up, so might as well use it. Beware of the rust virus. That's it. <laughs> Got to watch that. I'm just going to take my wedding ring off. Remind me where I put it. Oh, I'm not even going to go into that debate. Um, I'm over it. <laughs> but, but I like your sense of humour. I like the way you think. Okay, what have we got here? This is an El Cheapo. Horrible, ordinary Azito. True story. I bought this. Oh, it would be... Five, no, yeah. maybe five years ago to use for a specific job. It was all of $40. And I thought, well, I've only got to use it on this job. And if it blows up, I can get my money back after 12 months. You can't kill this thing with a stick. I have abused it and used it and flogged it. And it's still going. So there you go. Thumbs up to Azito. They don't have the best name in the world, but their stuff's good. 
I, um, same thing, I bought an Azito chop saw for metal. This will be going back about nine years. And again, I just leave it out in the weather, use it, abuse it, and it still fires up. Noisy as when you use it in rough, but does the job. Hey, this specialist sanding slicing knife. It's my days when I used to go fishing. What have we got? Um, Arty Joel, hello, welcome to the workshop. Maxie, what are you doing? One job I hate, my grandpa. No, so you are doing. I thought you didn't like wood turning, Max. You can only have one job you hate. I thought it was wood turning. Oh, steel wool and carrot, good combination. Uh, I love a lot of Zeta, especially since Bunnings. Yeah, well, what's happened with that raid, really? There's no quality control. And the end user is the quality control. And a lot of people will go, oh, it only cost me 40 bucks. I couldn't be bothered to go and change it. I'll go and buy a new one. So they're in front. Yeah, that, the Ryobi range, I've got a video to give to a Ryobi, actually. And their range, with everything they have, and the one battery, I think it's a great idea. All right. Let me put my eye muffs on. Oh, bad news. Just in case you hadn't heard, the Brisbane Work and Wood Show has been cancelled, so yours truly won't be there. Okay. Here we go. <sighs> Now, for all intents and purposes, that most likely would be good enough. go through the grades anyway, but that's come up all right, isn't it? So what I think I'll do is, well, I've got that paper in, if it's, it's still rough, I'll do the sanding one, and then we can come back and do a bit more of that one. 
Let's see how my, how's my king going? Mmm. Yeah, it doesn't get out. Oh, I don't know. That does a pretty fair job. And let's give it a go with the, the simple green. Is this going to make any difference? I'll soak them in it if I have to. And it's all right. That's, <laughs> can't get over that. Let's just see if it's going to move with a bit of bit of sandpaper. For those of you that are new to the channel, you will get the drift that I switch and chop around a lot. Oh no, that's all right. That's not too bad. That's all right. We've got any shellac up there. We'll <clears throat> whack a bit of DAA on and we'll, we'll see what it's going to look like when it's polished. <whistles> no, I think that's, that's quite acceptable. That is no green in it. More importantly, there's no poo in it. So that's what we will do. I think I'll just, I might, I'll go, I'll go all over now. I've got the bug. This is what I'll be doing for the next um, couple of weeks actually. I've got a few boxes that I've got to finish it off. So, whoa. Stinks. So you'll be seeing me doing a lot of box work. <laughs> I'm just hoping I've got enough um, of that veneer because I haven't used that particular veneer for whoops, quite a time so I'm going to have to scout around and timber shop and see if I can find it. Yo, I'm here. Come say hello to the peoples. It's the wife. Hello, my darling. Hello, Look at that cocky poo comes out, all right? So happy with that. How is going? I'm going widescreen, not because any other. No, don't because I, I got I got in trouble this morning because I I said something, but I got my me and her mixed up, and she thought I meant her and I meant me, and I got hit, didn't I? Yeah. Well, this is. Hey, we got sprung. I was I was giving Susie a kiss this morning in the hallway. My grandson was standing behind. Oh, gross. <laughs> And then I've just done what I thought was the impossible. <laughs> I'm I've, not going I've got Noah cooking. We've awesome. I heard, I, heard the, I heard the food process. So yeah. so processor. Food processor. Food proof. Jesus, what's it called? Food processor. Look, yes. people are saying hello. Ray Hi, said hello. Everyone. Max said good day. Brian said hello. Hi, everyone. Uh, yeah, we've done two chocolate cakes, a normal cake, because I'm going back to basics instead of buying a cake to go in your trifle. And two apple crumbles. You see, it is great. And I'm only touching on this briefly as big knee jerk reaction. Don't do this, don't do that. Truly, the way Susie stocks her cupboards, we'd be right for three months. I, I kid you not. Would that be. I've only got two freezers. Three freezers. How four many? freezers. Oh, That's nine fridges and everything. Something like that, yeah. <coughs> well, if you count the freezers on top of the fridges, then you've got the freestanding freezer, then you've got the box freezer. I've got, yeah. And then I've John's got, got a freezer. And we got fry, rice, and we got chook eggs next door, up yeah, the road. And, 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 and we've even got pasta, dried pasta. If we well, can. I can make pasta. Yeah, but have you got all the stuff for it? 
and they need eggs and flour. And I'm <laughs> sure you've got enough flour in there. Why don't they, why don't they go? No, I'm not going to go there. Mm. should go burlesque on the basics. So I Look guess at that, everybody in the world has gone crazy at the moment. But we've got our little world here, haven't we? Yes, we have. Our little corner of the world. Jerry says good day. Tango, good day, mate. What's happening tonight all this morning? Howdy, Sue. Hey, Tango, what did you give me the idea for the other day? Oh, got to show you. Got to show you. I'll go up the other shed and show you. Because you came up with the idea of putting the epoxy in note form on the music stand. I'll show you how it turned out. Okay. Yeah, you can talk to him. No, you can't because he's with a microphone. No, that's right. So, so anyway, bye, everyone. I'll go and supervise that the cakes don't get burnt. Hey, can you make chocolate Tim Tams too? And then we don't have to buy them. Mm -hmm. You put an icing on the top, frosting on the top? No, because the boys reckon they're going to eat them first before you put anything on the top. Although the they, actually, they did. They, they made a cake, wasn't it, the other day? They made two cakes. And, and she said, why are you making two? They said, well, one we're going to eat before we cook it. <laughs> they had a bowl of cake mix. Actually, oh, no, no, good it stuff. Was, no, it was quite funny because he's sort of cooking and he's going, oh, this seems nice, this seems nice. Okay. So he, he grabbed a big spoonful of um, cocoa. Oh. Put it in his mouth. He goes, oh, went up me nose, man. <coughs> Drinking chocolate you can do it with. Yeah, but not yeah, cocoa. No, not cocoa, no. So, and he's sitting there watching it. <laughs> oh, that's good. Because we, we, we've decided all this carry on. Anthony's homeschooled anyway, so we're keeping his brother home. And we're teaching him stuff that's going to be useful. Not algebra or dates. Stuff like that. How to fix a car, how to cook, how to weld, how to use a machine, how to sew. All this good stuff. He's loving it, isn't he? Yeah. Well, he said this is his one elective for today. Tomorrow he's coming into my sewing room. Done. All right. Well, I'm just going to go up and go and get this Bye. thing. I'll be about 15 seconds so I can show Tango what a good idea he had. I'll be back in the TikTok. Play I Spy. Oh. God, it's nice to walk around here and not trip over stuff. It's lovely. How's your sewing room? He was too young, he didn't remember. <coughs> oh. Well, save some for me. Yep. Now I want to lick the bowl. Yeah. There, Tango, do you remember a couple of weeks ago when I made these and I wanted to put something along here to strengthen your joint? You said, why don't you put some musical notes over them? So, what I did was, took your advice, went over to Theo's, and we cranked the CNC machine up, and put those notes in, and then filled them with epoxy, and then when you take all the epoxy off and sand it, that's what you get. So that's now epoxied across these joints, and I'll put some later stage bow ties on there, so top idea. Oh, I love it when the people watch and contribute. That's it. I'm going to call that the Tango Music Stand in your honour, mate. There you go. Now, where do I get up to? I've got a green lid. I'll worry about that later on. Oh, oh dear. Yeah, it, it's, it's good. They sat down because they're all stressed out over all this rubbish that's going on on the media. So we just sat them down and calmed them down and said, this is the new curriculum at school. And they're, they're quite impressed. It's good. Yeah, good idea, isn't it, Tango? Is it C? You know, just a pretty face. Uh, let's see. Uh, da -da -da -da. Oh, there you Oh, I <laughs> thought it was Bob. It's the boss. I'm taking you into the swing. Somebody asked, what have I been up to lately? Oh, did they? They did. Well, you so, show them. Hang on. I'm just going to let Sue have this dream. Go on. Show them. You're going to have to. Oh, I've got to help. Help. 
See, she's made a bed sheet. No, hang on, what do we do? Is that, no, the way around, there you go. Oh, Bob's come in now. There you go. That's a, I'll pull your thingamajiggle out by the side. Yeah, so you have a look up there, you can see what you're doing. We can't see that bit. There you go, and then pull it up. And that's all wolves and stuff. That's for one of our sons. Yeah. Perspective. No, it's already a girl from what? Yeah, so that's what I've been up to because somebody asked me a couple of weeks ago what I've been up to. She sits up all night with a needle and thread doing that. No, but I've got her soon. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's. Oh, hello, Bob. Are you gonna... Bob's here. There you go. Where are you, Robert? There you go. Yep. All right, Chuck. Catch you later. Oh, oh well, that, that was an anti climber. He doesn't look impressed, does he? Mm. Why wouldn't you lie on the blinking carpet? I would. Anyway, uh, I'll pass that on, James. More talent in the house. Well, no, she's got talent. I bet more talent. Careful what you say. <laughs> no, it's all good. We got things to do. We got things to do. Uh, I fed him. All that stuff's missing. Ah, uh, tell you what. No, uh, sheep, Ray, sheep. Should be doing woodwork. Much better value. All right, where do we get up to? I've lost me thread now. Oh, no, I wasn't. I was going to... Oh, I was going to put the sander over this one. Here we go. We'll brush this one start with. I've lost my brush. Where's the brush? Yeah, so we're going to... Get the grandkids in there using the electronic embroidery machines and sewing machines and hand sewing. I might even get them to make an apron for themselves. Uh, so this is really great doing this on a screen because I'd never get around to doing it otherwise. So I thank you all. A lot of it just comes off with a steel brush. I mean, if you had a, a wire wheel, you could use that. I've got one up in the blacksmithing shop, but it's too big to bring down here. Oh, or you put in a hand drill, but then that throws stuff everywhere. Can't talk and do this at the same time because I've got to concentrate. Oh. <clears throat> I don't live in the city, which I'm very happy about, but I would imagine it wouldn't be nice experience living in the city at the moment. Ooh, the crazies. There we go. Um, suck that off. Actually, by doing this, you're most likely going to get a better table than what was actually there when you bought it, because you can smooth all the machining marks out. <clears throat> uh, where are we up to? Hang on. I'm catching up with you, Ray, after that. Now you're trying to take the stuff back for a refund. Good luck with that. <laughs> uh, Oh, crazy.
Yeah, I, I agree. You're buying stuff. I mean, I, I used to live in a very small country town, very small country town. And whenever you'd get, you know, more than an inch of rain and someone said, oh, it could flood, people just went bizarre. You'd go into the main town, out of the, the village I lived in, and you couldn't find a parking spot. And people would be loading their trucks. The worst flood we ever had, I think, we were cut off for four days. Four days! If you can't have enough food in your cupboard for four days, there's something very sad. You can live on bread or rice. It's not going to kill you. There you go. Put that up so you can see. Where are we? Here I am. Right there. Oh, no, oh, oh. cricking my elbow. <laughs> That's your elbow. Cricking the shoulder, I meant. Uh. Oh, we go through a fair bit, but we've got we've got five people living here, sometimes six, and um, we've got three toilets. So, you know, Sue by a normal amount. Uh, what was the other thing we? Oh, yeah, I went into my IGA the other day and bought all the white vinegar they had, but it's for a <laughs> purpose other than this rubbish is going on. And the guy looked at me. On the checkout, I said, mate, I'm just trying to start a new trend. And he looked at me and he looked at the vinegar. He said, I don't think it'll take off. I said, well, if they knew what I wanted it for, it definitely wouldn't take off. Oh, hang on. I was going to wipe that down, wasn't I? Oh. Even the bleach is starting to disappear off the shelf. Crazy. Yeah, look, it's true. I buy things that are on special that I don't need. I think the other week um, I, I said that I was in the big box warehouse with Anthony and they had all this stuff on special and I bought it. He said, do you need it? I said, no. Nah. He said, what are you buying it for? I said, well, I might need it. It's on special. Who cares? Um, they had... So I'll take out... Just, can you see? Yeah. These, I don't know if they were getting out of stock or what, but they had these, and I thought, oh, that's all right, I'll have a couple of those. Didn't think much of it. There you go. Urban Marathon Wheel, Ripsaw 24 TPI. And they had a box of them. I near the you know the tradie checkout side. What do you do? You want to go out? Here you go, mate. Go on, off you go. And I thought oh, I don't need any more saw blades. They were ten dollars each. They're normally sixty bucks or something or other that particular brand. So I bought a couple of them and I thought oh, I don't think I'll use them. But hey, you can sell them down the track for twenty twenty five bucks. You might double your money. And um, then the other day, I did a stupid thing, which isn't unusual for me. I cut, oh, I don't know if you saw those uh, cylinder making sanding jigs that I made. I had one and it had a little bit 
extra that I, than I need and I thought I'll just dock it off in the wheel. Not thinking the aluminium oxide on the, <laughs> the sandpaper was on there and it completely stuffed the uh, saw blade. Well, I didn't stuff it, I just got to get it resharpened. It. So lo and behold, that blade fits on there, 10 bucks. Got to be happy with that. Okay. Actually, I reckon that's all right too. Got all the rust off of that. It's pretty deep machining marks. So the, the rust didn't go as deep as the machining marks did. And a lot of things, you know, it's, it's only a table there to hold whatever job you've got on there. But I will go through and do a couple more grades just to refine it a little bit. Ah, wow. Max, uh, the same over here, went to buy my usual shopping. Didn't get, yeah, nice. Crazy. Hey, blog, hola. How are you, my friend? Welcome. Uh, James, I just mad I wanted to grill tonight in the store. I had no ham, oh. Yeah, and uh, yeah, well, that's what I saw. Well, well I, I didn't watch it because I don't watch the news. And Susie tells me, or someone will tell me. And they're stocking up on meat. Hello, meat's got a use by date. Wouldn't you be stocking up on tins of soup, tins of baked beans, a uh, stew in a can, uh, and stuff like that? But, oh, no. We'd be right, Tango. We could have dry rations, mate. We'll <laughs> We'd be good for months. Ah. Roa, hola to you too. Rui, Rui, is it? There you go. Actually, I did see a great one. It said, for everybody in Coles buying toilet paper, go to the butchers. They've got brains on special as well. <laughs> yeah, good. <laughs> hey, T-Bone, how you going, mate? Ah, oh, mate, they, they, they made the world over. They're just absolutely... I, I said to Sue the other day, I said, I certainly hope when we get old and doddery, our kids look after us, because, or, or I'm healthy as... Uh, as anything, and then I just die peacefully in my sleep because I don't want these idiots looking after me. No. There was one that I thought was very, very interesting. Have you noticed that there's an epidemic of some sort every year there's an election on? Yeah, that'll give you something to think about. So, what are they distracted? Oh, I'm not going to go there, no, because my conspiracy side will get out and I'll... <laughs> oh, I won't get any woodwork done. Oh, dear. Okay, now this is 120. So I've gone from 80 to 120. Yeah, hey, T-Bone, seems to me the only... Sensible, sane people in the world are watching Woodworking Masterclass. You notice I did say wit watching, not participating, because I, I don't know if I'm the sanest person around. But tell you what, when you compare yourself to some, some other people, you think, hmm, maybe I'm not so bad after all. Okay, this is 120. <laughs>
And that's all I'm going to do with that one because the machine marks on it are, are pretty darn deep. So I'm not going to worry too much about that. I, what's that, Max? We could go and knock a couple of deer off down there. Oh, there, there you go. There's always answers. Oh, dear. A mate of mine used to say they've got it worked out so well, they've now got the sheep leading the sheep. So, read into that what you may. I tell you what, that cleaning stuff's non-toxic, but yeah, it's got a horrible smell. Okay, that one we'll put back on the sander in a jiffy. Oh, and we'll give the oh, band saw one a bit of a tickle. Um, Uh, well, you can always go and buy a new motor. What else can you use them for? Well, well, it depends how big it is. You can um, uh, fill the, the hole up with a bit of plywood and then put a big sheet of sanding paper over it and then you'd have a nice big flat sanding board. That could be the go. Well, don't throw it away, because as soon as you throw it away, you'll work out what you could use it for. G'day, Frank, how are ya? Welcome along. For those that have just joined, I had a lot of rust appear on two work tables. So I'm cleaning those off before I get into doing any other woodwork. And I'm trying to get cockroach poo stains off of a box. So we'll see how we go. I think I'll leave that at 122. It's smooth enough. Yeah, you could either spray that with um, inox or <coughs> three in one or WD-40. Or what I might do is put a bit of wax on there. Oh, actually, we might do it this way. This will do. This is just ordinary candle wax. Melted down candles. Talk about buying things you didn't really need. I um, was at an auction once. And they had old church candles, not old church candles, new church candles, but old boxes. Um, and I forget what I got them for. I think I got them for 30, 30 cents a box. And there were six in a box. So I melted them all down. And I now have enough. Oh, that hurt. I've got to fix that too. I now have enough wax to last me, I don't know how long. So that's, that's all paraffin wax up there. And I've still got, all well, these were the, I, I think I've still got 50 boxes that I haven't melted yet. 
So that's what they were. And that's, that's all the wicks. So I'm, I might sell the wicks on eBay. A dollar for six. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Now I've got my eBay account all set up. Oh, they, first of all, they wouldn't let me have woodwork in Masterclass, and then they decided that they would. So I had to put a dash in there somewhere or other. I don't know how their matrixes or what, what do we really call those? Um, anagrams, An analogs, Ana algorithms. That's the word, algorithms. Work, but there you go. All right, so I've just put candle wax on that. And this is just a um, scotch bright sort of, what am I looking at? I'm looking down there, should be looking there. This is just a scotch, scotch bright scourer. And by doing this, you're just putting a thin coat of wax over the table. Try not to have any big blotches there. And then it will weatherproof it a little bit and also allow the timber to slip. So if I put a bit of water on that, it should just bead. There you go. Let's see if it runs off. There you go. Just runs off. Oh, you can buy all this expensive stuff. Yeah, there's great stuff out there to put on your table. To, what is it? Silver? I don't know, some slip product out there. Yeah, look, it works. It's good stuff. But when you can... Get an old bit of a tea candle or something or it's going to do the same job. Why would you bother? Or perhaps that's just me. Let's put a bit in there. <laughs> yeah, I could. Perhaps I should go in the candle making business, Tango. <clears throat> Some in there. I can slot the insert when I take it back up and put it on the thing. <sighs> so there you go. That's one fixed, finished, and waxed. And we'll do the same to this one, and this one will actually put together as well. Ah, oh, now where are we up to? Um. Oh, ridges and ridges. Yeah, don't know. Don't use it as a storage table. That's my biggest weakness. If I've got a flat area with nothing on it, I'll soon find some rubbish to put on it. A friend of mine calls them catch-alls. That's why this bench here, best bench I ever had. It's, oh, Flat out being 40 wide, I think. Yeah, 500 wide. And you know, I get so much work done on that, and it doesn't, well, it looks a bit messy at the moment because I've got stuff on it, but normally, if I'm working on it, it doesn't because there's not enough room to put stuff on, and it's all workspace. There you go. Not a dumb body. Oh. <laughs> 
Yeah, no, oil can be a pain because it can leach into your um, timber. But don't forget, and I, I know I stress this a lot, all these machines, they're not meant, underline the word meant, they're not meant to be finishing machines. So whether it's a saw or a sand or a router, a bandsaw, anything. Their primary job is to reduce waste or remove waste. The actual finishing gets done, well in my shop anyway, by hand, where you've got more control over what you're doing. Yeah, I've found um, oil's a, a pain, but if I use a WD-40, 3-in-1, uh, Inox, RP-7, one of those styles, and let it dry, and then wipe off the ex excess, it's not too bad. Where's this sander? Okay. Oh! Oh, that's heavy. Oh. It is too. Let me just suck what I can out and then blow the rest off. Interesting. I, I don't know what I've been grinding there, but there's a lot of other stuff came out, so I might pull that off and clean it. I don't know how this comes off. I don't think I've pulled this bit apart before. It looks like this. Oh, I know what it is. PVC pipe, I think. I've been doing some projects with PVC pipe and I might have... Yep. Uh. I'll take that off. Marabon. Oh. Oh. Yeah, have a look at that. There you go. So I won't blow that out because it'll be nasty.
possibly should have a dust mask on, but apparently there's none there because people have bought them all. <coughs> okay. So here we go. <coughs> Let me have a talk. Hi, MC Creations. Good. Good to have you in the workshop. Where are we at? Uh... Yeah, I, I've used that before, a bit of tallow. It's all good stuff. The old mutton fat. Oh. Da -da -da. So my parents used to have bees in their farms, but they stopped. And there's some beeswax there. My father's going to bring me some. Yeah, no, beeswax is good. Um, I like the smell of it. In fact, I haven't got it here, but uh, Nathan in South Australia makes this product called Mind Your Own Beeswax. And, oh, the smell is just gorgeous. And if you're going to make chopping boards, which I said earlier on, I'm going to make um, upmarket chopping boards. Make your own uh, chopping board wax and you use beeswax and that. There's a lot of recipes around. The particular one I make is coconut oil and beeswax. And it uh, doesn't smell as nice as Nathan's. Nathan's is gorgeous. But it does the job. And then you're saving money and you're also creating a market if you're making a lot of chopping boards because then you can sell your beeswax along with a chopping board. Do I have any WD-40 around? <clears throat> three in one. I had some three in one the other day. Where did that go? Not there, I'll go I'll use the old fashioned way, we'll make a bit of wax on it. It's always good when you're um, making something you're putting hinges in, put a little bit of wax on the screws, especially little brass screws, and you'll find they'll go in a lot easier. And you won't break as many. There you go. That's all good. Oh. oh dear. Okay, that way, and that goes. Oh, that does that. Why? Well, you learn something new every day. Do you see that? Well, I didn't know that, but. By turning that, that actually tilts the table. So cool. Put this onto here. Where's that little jar of doodabs? There we go. And then we'll put this on. Yeah, we'll do, uh, actually, I've nearly finished this. So we'll go on to do, do a cutting board that I've just got the machine. No one be alarmed, I'm going to use the router. What? No takers. going on there. Oh yeah. Um, paraffin wax, beeswax, canuba wax, any sort of wax is great for threads. Oh. 
Oh. Well, there's something I didn't know. Look at that. They got spring washers and I didn't put the spring washers on, so I shall. You. So and so. I'll put the spring washers on. It's a, a trick, you know. You gotta hold your tongue the right way when you're doing it upside down. Concentration. Have you ever done that if you're screwing something up, whether it's upside down or whatever? If you think about it, you can't work it out, but if you just do it, you do it. It's when you stop and think about it, that's when the trouble starts. So there you go. Just do it. That's what Nike said. Come on, there you go, see? Uh, mm. Oh, we've got some more, I've missed comments, they're going down. They're going down past me page, wait a minute. Where's my mousy thing? Oh, I'm having problems with this mouse today. <clears throat> there we go. Let's come back up. Emma, my screen's gone all weird on me. Oh, perhaps the mouse has had the. I don't know. Ah. Oh, thanks, Brian. I like like the vote of confidence. Thank you so much. Yeah, I, um, I'm making something with PVC at the moment, which I'll most likely do a video on. Just, I've lost my screen. What's happened? My screen's gone. Ah, here we go. There you go. You can't see what I'm doing, but nor can I. When that screen goes down, there you go. All right. Yeah, so I'm making some things with uh, PVC at the moment, which I will video if they work. I'm just doing some test runs, and it's to do with chopping boards, MC. So if it works, I will let everyone know. And I'll do a video of making what I plan to be making. Where's a square? That'd be nice. Oh. That's good enough for me. Uh, I use a carver's mallet for chiselling. It came with a large coat of wax. I want to remove it any reason I should. No, no reason at all. It's an idea if it's a wooden mallet, just to make sure that you uh, do keep a light oil on it or something. So, And that's only to prevent it from drying out. If you've got too much on there, you can actually slip off your tool so it becomes a weapon instead of a tool, but uh, no, just take it off and just make sure you leave a little bit of covering um, just to stop it from whatever I said, splitting. There you go. I'm thinking of too many things at once. 
All right. Let's crank this little puppy up and see if it's <laughs> still going to work. Shoot, can't see why not. I only just cleaned it. There we go. That can go in there. That can go there. Ah. And there you have it. I love this little brake they've got on there. That's a great idea. And that's just extra paper hitting somewhere or other. Nothing to be concerned about. Great bit of kit. And you do use the brake because it's not plugged in. Uh, and that will still hurt you if it hits you. Um, hey, Louise! Oh, hey, how did, I was thinking of you the other day. How did you go with that cedar? Is that still um, an option? Let me know. Oh, let me just go and put this somewhere. Oh, crikey, it's heavy. Oh, it's clumsy too. Oh, dear. Oh, yeah. There you go. Okay. All right. Let's have a look here. What have we got? Here's a couple of chopping boards. This is one, it's the last stream I did. I finished the stream and then I glued it up because it was too boring to watch me doing the glue up. But there it is. She's a biggie. So that's Tasmanian oak or silver ash and jarra stripes that go all the way through. What I want to do with this one, I want to try something new. Um, I want to actually see if veneer will work on it or not. So I might do part of it now and then I would like to glue this veneer onto the edge, this is Amboinia, onto the edge there and then shape the edge. What I will do is I want to cut the corners off. So we could do that now, if I can find a finder, finder, finder. Let's see, that might, that might even do. <laughs> Can of fly sprays, oh. I want a bigger radius than that. What else have I got that's round? No. Here we go. We'll draw a, we'll draw a, um, a, circle. Well, not a circle, but we'll draw what we want to draw. And get a pencil, which would be good. Oh, where are we up to? Um, oh, that's awesome, Louise. Thanks for that. It doesn't take long, MC, for something to happen. How about the coffee? Oh, that's a good idea. Uh, yeah, no, I'll use the coffee mug would be great if I didn't have. There's more water for Bob there. If I if I emptied it out. Wait a minute. Oh, oh, good idea, MC. We'll use a coffee mug. But I'll use it upside down. Mm. 
Hang on. Go. What am I on? That's the one I wanted. That one there. Like that, it's a nice radius. I'm going to do a lot of end grain chopping boards as well, and inlaid chopping boards. I'll show you one as soon as I've marked this off. I'd say this pencil would work a lot better if it didn't have super glue on the end of it. Let me just give it a sharpen. <clears throat> there you go. That fixed his little red wagon. a drink of water. I'm going to have to change the blades on the bandsaw so we can go over and do that and I'll cut those off. Here's an inlaid one. Which one am I on this one? So that's blackwood and jarrah. Jarrah inlay on blackwood. The colour's going funny on that one. There we go. Um, actually, I wonder if that's that's something to do with when I had a trip. Whoops! I will fix this problem right now while I think about it. It's frozen. See, that camera's just died. There we go. Back to life. All right, what I'm going to do is just shrink this. You can't see because it's frozen yet. I'm just going to put some shrink wrap on this. If and I can find some. I did have some. But where is the all-important question? Here it is. Ah. Great stuff, that shrink wrap, isn't it? How much do I need? Let's go there to there to there a little bit. Okay, so this camera's going to die. And then we'll put that through there. And we'll put that in there. This over here. And we'll see if we can reboot this camera here. There you go. Working. All right. So let's put some 
shrink wrap on that. tricky to do it without disconnecting it. Or overheating any of the electronics. Well, that seems to have done the job. Isn't that great? And then that won't come apart. All these nifty things they've got around nowadays. Whoops, now I've cut myself right off. Here we go. Ah, da 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 da. Um, some I am. This one I'm not. Uh, sorry, raise question. Am I going to put a handle on them? Some I will, and some I won't. So it all depends on how I'm feeling at the time. Uh, do you play with electronics as well, Steve? There's some fantastic projects you could do with wooden electronics. Um, no, but I'll. I'll I'm doing something different, which I will show once I've got it worked out properly. I've had a couple of goes, and I like the idea, but it, uh, it worked for a little bit and then it died. So I'll have to work on doing something a little bit better, and I'll show you. But no, no electronics. Thanks, Louise. Look forward to that. Um, where else? Okay, let's go over and we'll change the bandsaw blade because this one is too big. Now I've got that done, I, I'm not going to trip and disconnect the camera. It will be good. So let's just change cameras. And I don't know which blade, I think I know which blade I'll use. I don't know, we'll go over and have a look. Oh, cords. There we go. All right. Oh dear. Pick this rubbish up. See, starting to clean up as I go. It's not really that effective, but it's got to start somewhere, doesn't it? Um, what do I want? Blade. Uh, that one or that one? Might. Choices. Ah, I'm going to go this one. So we'll put this much thinner one on. I've got a resaw blade on there at the moment, which is good, but it's not really good for doing work that requires radial cuts. One thing I like about this is a quick release mechanism around the back. It really saves a lot of time. And I've got three band saws. I've only got one in this shed, but I've got two up in another shed. 
And it really is something, if you're gonna change bandsaw blades, you gotta think about how long you're gonna be using that blade for because it does take a bit of time setting it up. It's not just a question of changing the blade. It's changing the blade, resetting the gauge, the, the um, gauges or uh, what did you call them? The running blocks and then retensioning everything. And, and then if you're only going to do one cut and then go back, it's, it gets a little bit counterproductive. Just go around here. Take that one off and put this. When you're undoing a bandsaw blade, too, <laughs> two ways you can go. I'll go to the main camera to show you this. <clears throat> There's a right way and a wrong way. Yeah. When you're undoing a bandsaw blade, you go like that, and then you'll see where it's crossed over. Then you put your finger on that one. Then you can open that bit up and then allow it to come undone. Or well, the other way is you just throw it on the ground and it springs. And now to do them up, I just hold it out in front of me like that and it's the wrist action. I go like this, so see how that bends there? Once it's bent halfway, I roll my wrist in and it's as easy as that. So that's how you roll it up. So let's just unroll it. Rolling them up again. Just hold it so it's over centre. I have the teeth pointing up. And then when it goes over centre, you roll your wrists in. So like that and roll. And there you go. Rolled up. Now to do it in five, which I don't... I don't... Oh, hang on. No, I don't think I've got one. The 18 inch bandsaw actually gets rolled into five rings. All you do there is you do this one first, which is three rings. Then you separate it out to get a lot of slack. You do it again, that'll give you five rings. So no mystery there at all. Ah, oh, what are we up to? Oh, that looks good, Ray. Right? Want a picture of that one when you finished it? Your clock. We've gone into making high-tech stuff. There you go. Are you going to use Jarrah Ray? Yeah, that'd be fun, a quadcopter. <laughs> Although the way, the way I crashed mine, I don't think I wouldn't want it to last for long. Oh, I tell you what I did do the other day from the drone. I got a, um, a Samsung Tablet A, 8-inch screen. Oh, doesn't that make a world of difference? Prior to that, I was just flying on the phone and couldn't see anything. But with that bigger screen, but then you've got to buy the shelter to go around it. And what else did I have to get? Oh, a different mount, so it'll mount in. But, oh, it makes a huge difference. All right, what have we got up here? Ray, I use... The current issue I have is that my HT Gordon Dado playing a little bit is. Hmm. 
Oh, it sounds like you got the problem sorted there, Ray. James, that's what my brother did, works in metal fabrics and build a cabinet, yeah. <laughs> YouTube, Max. All right, let's get back over here. Ah, uh, and oh, I've got to change cameras, you sausage. Let's go. Uh, this one here. There you go. And always remember, oh, here we go. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Here's a trap I have seen many people fall into, just on bandsaw blades again. You go and put your bandsaw blade on, and the teeth are pointing upwards. All you gotta do is turn your bandsaw blade inside out like that and the teeth will be pointing the right way. Okay, so if you get a bandsaw blade and you put it on and the teeth are pointing the wrong way, just turn the bandsaw blade inside out and you'll be right to go. Ah. Uh, Whoops. There we go. <sighs> that in there. And you try not to let it drag on the metal parts. It doesn't do a real a lot of benefit to your teeth. Ah, come here, you. There you go. Oh, dear. off a bit. There you go. About C sharp, I reckon. That sounds okay. Now I've just got to change the um, running blocks. This bottom one's got to go back a bit. And you have it so the teeth are just proud of your block. So it's not actually cutting into your block or bearings or whatever it is you have. And then have you, a lot of people put their um, runner bearing touching. I have mine a little bit off behind it. That way when the blade's turning and there's no pressure, the bearing isn't rubbing. On this particular bandsaw, I've got um, ceramic guides. So it doesn't have a bearing block. But I had the same thing, I have the ceramic guides just behind the blade when there's no pressure on it. So then when I do load it, it'll then start to rub. Test 
test. Run, make sure you go all the way around the belt completely. And that can actually come in here a little bit more. And it's not rubbing. So, I mean, it's, it's just not a question of changing the blade. All the settings have to be changed as well. And by doing what I'm doing here, you're just making sure there's no kinks in the blade. Because that's going to wear your rubbing blocks out. And in that case, what I just did, I set my bottom one up and it was fine. And then once I set the top one up, I had to reset the bottom one again. So double check every time to make sure everything's schmick. I can run that up a little bit more. Okay. And we should be good to go. Shut all the doors and a lot of um, bandsaws now won't run with the doors open because they've got micro switches. But that's not every bandsaw, so don't assume that it's got safety factors built in because it doesn't always. Give it a quick hit. Turn it off. Okay, that's running quite nicely. So we might have a crack at cutting these corners off. Now, I'm catching up. <laughs> won't, I, I was just going to ask that, Jake, it won't let you fly drones. Yeah, it's, it's a bit scratch the tummy and pat your head job, but what I found was helpful using a screen. I was trying to fly, you know, you've got to fly a line of sight and everything. I, my brain was just doing backflips when it was coming towards me because then if you wanted to order the right, you had to pull to the left. You want to turn to the right, turn to the left and go, oh, just... But I find looking at the screen, because you're always seeing what the drone sees through the camera, you're always flying forwards. So if you want to go right, you go right, you go left, and you're not looking at the drone. I hope this I could be up for a new, new mouse for these things. Oh no, there we go. We're on again. Oh. I had to replace the mouse on the office computer the other day. <clears throat> I don't know. I've, I've tried those goggles, MC. Um, yeah, you get lost in a world. You you do get lost in your own world, that's for sure. But when you come out of it, oh, oh no, I, I want to put the goggles back on. So I'm better off not to use them. And I'm with you. Woodworking's great for depression. Well, I hope you're on the mend and we bring a bit of joy into your life, James. That's, that's the main thing. Oh, speaking of joy into your life, here comes the fat one. Hello, Bob. 
Not even saying the lay, just walking. No, nah, plonk. Okay, you, you lie on what machine I'm going to use next. Oh, no, you didn't. I'm going to use the bandsaw next. Mm -hmm. um. <laughs> when Su Susie had a brain tumour and she had it operated on, she changed. She, she lost her governor she, before she would uh, filter a lot of things. No, she doesn't filter anything now. <laughs> uh, so I'm just blessed to still have her. It's good. Hey, oh, welcome all the way from Connecticut. All right, let's go and see if we can cut the corners off this puppy and see if it works. So I'll go over to that shot there. And we'll see if this has really made a big difference. Oh. See, I might even change that over to there. So, where are we? <whistles> see? My brain's gone kerfuddled already. I can't even see the... Oh, there it is. Okay. There it is. I'll turn the dust extractor on. And we should be cooking with gas. No, unfortunately, that blade was too thick. Doesn't matter. This is a great job for that um, disc sander that I just cleaned up. And that's what I'll actually use to get that nice radius. Amazing what a difference cutting sharp corners off. Just with what I've done at the moment, it's just totally transformed this uh, chopping board. Whoa! Table's not secure. Wait a minute. What happened there? Better. Oh, must have knocked the support when I changed the blade. Totally changed it from a square board. Let's turn the dusty off. Yeah. 
So as I said before, I'm going to put that up to you before I do myself a mischief. I want to put just a strip of this along the edge there, just to give it a little bit of panache, I think they call it. All right, shall we go over to the router? Ah. Yeah, oh, well, mate, James, you hang in there, mate, because Susie just went for her five-year checkup last year and everything was Mickey Mouse. So there you go. Prayers and thoughts and good, good vibrations are with you, mate. G'day, David. Oh, David, you're in, not in, <laughs> was it? You're in Tennessee, right. Yeah, spell check. Don't you love it? Yeah, that's true. That someone's going to get hit by a truck today and they don't know. So I, I'm with that. Every morning you wake up, it's a bonus. Mm. Yeah, the router, Ray, the router. No, I don't want the ambos. I don't want, don't want any of them because they might, they might be carriers. I'll, I'll just, I'll, I'll try not to bleed out, all right? Okay, let's go and change around a bit. We, we might do that because what I want to do with this one is uh, put a round edge on it and roll it over. I don't know what the size of that one is. Oh, I got an order for one the other day and I thought, oh, I wonder if that's the same size. If it is, it's one less I have to make. 400 by 280. So there you go. Oh. And then we'll sand it. <laughs> Did I? It's nice to be loved, isn't it? Here we go, let's go over there and we'll have a we'll have a look see. See what we can do. Oh dear. But it, oh, I got a big stick of that the other day. Ah, six metre length. Oh, it's out in the other shed. Nice. Nice. I haven't worked out what I'm going to make with it yet. Oh, let me have a look here. What ones do I want? Oh. That might not be too bad. We'll do that one. We'll do that one. There you go. This one here. Which means we've got to get rid of all this at the moment. I can't remember what I had that router been in there for. It's a bit of a worry, isn't it? It's been doing a job of some sort. Now, 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 oh, 
Something like this, you don't take in one slice. And I think that it would most likely do. Just open these gates up a bit. I did a, um, a video the other day which will go up in the next couple of days, Ooh. turning a uh, bowl out of bloodwood, which I, I mentioned at the beginning of the stream, for those of you that think I'm losing me marbles. I, I do remember mentioning it, but I had some people in the workshop, they came for another reason, and I said, well... You know, if I'm filming, you just have to wait until I finish. And they were, and they watched it. And one of the people said to me, oh, do you rehearse everything you're going to say? <laughs> I said, you've got to be kidding. I said, I go off on that many tangents, I can't remember what I'm meant to be doing from one minute to the next. So, no, I don't rehearse any of this. It's just whatever takes me fancy at the time. It's more fun too, much less stress. Okie dokie. We go there and I'll drop that down a bit, I think. Okay. Or as my son would say, okay. Let's have a bit of dusty action. Are you ready? Let me get some eye muffs on. Mm. Are you ready? Everyone holding their breath? Oh, thanks, MC. Appreciate that. That's wonderful. Thank you so much. Heart energy out to you, my friend. And two thumbs up. That's wonderful. Thank you. Uh... No, mate, don't be frightened of answers either. There you go. Ah, oh, you see, you, you give me a pat on the back with one of Max and then you stick it into me on the... <laughs> I oh, know it's a highlight of your Monday, and here we go. Oh, I just got to let Bob out. Wait a minute. He doesn't like loud noises. Oh, mate, off we go. Now, I just did a test cut on that to make sure it was in a gouge in. But what I prefer to do when using a router doing a chopping board is do the ends first. Is that going into shot? Yeah. Do the ends first, because then if you have a, a blowout, you're going to clean that up when you do the straight edge. So let's go. And I've actually got this. This is a great little thing on this table. If I need it, I can use that as a, as a fence. But I'll be right. I'll use me, I'll use me wits. Um... Uh, let's go, let's go there, look at that, is that much more better? I can't, I can't see, oh no that's good, alright, we'll go from there, let's go, rock and roll.
long run. One slight error in judgment, and it's um, showing up a little bit on that edge there, and there, and there. All that was, I just went a little bit too deep, or there might be a little bit of a woof in the board, but that doesn't matter. We can get that with the sander, we can get it with a plane. Oh, we might try a plane, because I haven't used a plane for a while. And then we'll knock it off with the sander. And we're one step closer to having another finished chopping board. This one, I would, oh, I don't know. Um, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Let me just have a look. Wait a minute. No, I was going to put the big disc sander over there and run the dust extractor on it and do these corners, but I've got nowhere to put it. So I'll have to do that one off camera, but that'll be easy peasy. Boom, 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 boom. 
A bit marvellous. I, <laughs> I just can't cut boards so they'll fit me bench without drilling more holes. It's all good. We can do it. Yeah, a little bit of scrap over here. There you go, Luke. Okay, so I've got a ridge there. Go up that way, we'll just knock that off. Can knock it off with a block plane, can knock it off with a smoother. Actually, no, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll we'll give Terry a plug. We'll use a we'll use an H and T smoother to flatten that out. How's that set up? It's not too bad. See, if I go this one, you're going to get a better shot at that, I think. I could do that one, couldn't I? It's lovely having all these different angles you can play with. Ah. Uh. Um, how much would you say that smaller cutting board? This one, I would sell, oh, I don't know, let me finish playing it and I'll, I'll give you a proper answer on that one. Um, number seven, you reckon? Nah, we'll give it smoother a go. If, if it doesn't work, I'll do a number seven. You don't be afraid of using planes on um, boards or anything like that. It's where the confidence comes from is using them. And on a chopping board, what's the worst that can happen? Not much. I would say this one I don't know. I'd say about $99. Um, the bigger ones I'm working on up to $300 and some even $400, depending how much work goes into them. And my way of working the cost out is... Uh, Double material cost plus labour rate. So whatever you charge labour wise, <coughs> charge that. And then whatever the materials cost, double that. And don't forget what's included in materials. You've got um, sandpaper, you've got glue, if you're using machinery, I, I have a different rate for 
machinery costs, but I sort of have worked it out when I price my timber that includes machinery costs. Um, so it's a bit easier to work out. A lot of times, well, most of the timber I buy is what they call rough sawn, um, and it's it's not dressed or anything. And yet, if you go externally and you don't have the machines, you exter go externally to get some machining done. You're generally paying around $120 an hour with a minimum of 40 bucks. So to machine something might only take five minutes but they're going to charge you $40 for it. So put that onto your pricing list as well. And uh, you'll be surprised. I mean, when you see these chopping boards going for $10 or what have you, you you've got to ask. You, you can't compete, so don't even try. This is, um, I hope, this is, this is 100 grit, or it's meant to be. Yeah, it's a hundred grit. And you've got sandpaper to consider too, that costs money. If you use uh, any grain filler, that costs money. Your biggest advantage is you're making one-offs and they're handmade. You're not, you know, going to find another one anywhere else the same as you've just made. And be proud of that fact. If they say, oh, I can buy one for 20 bucks, well, good. Go and buy it for $20. Concentrate too on the end grain. That's the bit that's going to let you down. And see these saw marks here where it's burnt the timber? Get those out. Now there's a couple of ways you can get them out using a sander like this or if you've got one a card scraper like this um, there we go okay we've got a burn mark here as you can see there card scraper you can hear that cutting action that card scraper is actually acting like a plane or a chisel and it'll take it off it's not there anymore and then you can go over it with sander because you, you spend a lot of effort sanding and sometimes with the sander to try and get that one mark out you're going to put a dip in it.
Now, at 100, that's not too bad. But I will do another couple of grits. That's 100, I think I'll go maybe 150 if I've got any 150. What have I got? 240. 100. 120. Ah! Okay, I'll go 180 and then a quick lick at 240. Even 180 feels pretty good. And you'll find the higher grade you go up to, the um, less time you're spending on that grade. So on 240. Okay. And consequently you go through a lot more sandpaper at the bottom end of the scale than the top end. Take all the sharp corners off. All right. Whoa! Turn itself on. Um, just see if I can find some of my wax and we'll whack that on. No, I haven't done the other side, but it's just a nice way to finish up so you can see what it looks like. <whistles> clean bit of cloth. No, it's not clean. That's good. Okay. Now this is a concoction I make myself. Food edible. There you go. Comes up. What have we got on this one? There you go. Comes up quite nicely. And that's why it's important to have these, this end grain clean. Because then you don't see horrible burnt spots there. But what I would do, I'd leave that 
sit for um, oh, maybe a week and then I'll give it another coat of oil, rub it in and then I've got a heat shrink wrap. I put it in that, heat shrink it, got a little flyer that goes on the top and a couple other things I'm doing which are, um, are different which I think gives me a, an advantage in the marketplace which I will tell you about later on once I get them organised properly. And there you go. Now, look, looking at that, I don't know. Anywhere from 99 to 120 I'd charge for that one. There you go. All depends what you're after. Okay, where are we up to? I'll have a chat and then I'll, I'll better go and have some breakfast. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh... Well, we start a trend. Chopping boards. That's it. Hey, and let, let's hope there's a rush on them. Wouldn't it be nice if everyone came out and started buying chopping boards? Uh, yeah, no, you're right, MC. You can't. Um, yeah, you just got to work it out. As I said, my theory or my formula is product costs doubled plus hourly rate. And whatever it works out, it works out to. No, that's true, Max. I'd like to get my grandkids into this, which we might start. <laughs> I might do it. Actually, no, Max, I, I will be using the lathe for some... Chopping boards because I'm going to make round ones. There you go. <clears throat> um, well, you, with a chopping board, all you got to do. Oh, here we go. <laughs> with a chopping board, you meant to just put water over it. Rinse it off, wipe it, and then dry it. And it's still there. All you need to do otherwise is just give it another coat of oil. You know, it's, it's not going to uh, fall the bits on you. The um, thing you've got to educate people is not to put them in the dishwasher because the dishwasher, no, she's going to fail, I'm afraid. So, you know, just a wet rag over the top and wait. Oh, let's, before we go, I just, I just want to see how we end up with this because that's definitely, definitely got a greeny tinge to it. Definitely got a greeny tinge. So I'll give it a rub back and we'll see how we go. Um, let's go back there. Uh. Hello from Alabama. G'day, John. Yeah, although although um, I was talking to Andrew from Type Bond in Australia and he said they use Type Bond too and I think they put a chopping board through the dishwasher several times and it's still held together. But definitely not guaranteed. That's what ruins most knives. People put them in the dishwasher. All right, let's see how we go with this. I don't know. We could... I could be on a winner or I might not be on a winner. <laughs> I'll try not to, Max. No, I will. I will. Just because I'm like that. Um, what side am I on? There we go. There we go. We'll see how this goes. I've got 240 on here. That was 240. Might use a bit of 120 on the other side.
No, I think 120s to go. If you have a look at that, that was done with 240, that's 120. And let me grab another one over here. That's a lot closer to that. Um, have I got, have I got, have I got? Where'd I put that? DAA bottle. Over there. Have I got anything left in it? Ah, oh, yes, just enough. That's brought them back to almost the same colour. I can live with that. So that's it. I, I can thoroughly recommend if you've got cocky poo on veneer, get some of that and 120 grit and it will fix it up a treat. So that's the next job I've got to do is clean the rest of these boxes up start making them. I reckon I'll be doing box making next stream. Might do a bit more of that chopping board down there. Who knows what else? Uh, I used chopping board for... <laughs> yeah, no, I like... When I was sharpening knives, people would say, oh, can I use the steel? So yes, please do, because you'll come back and see me sooner. <laughs> so same thing. Put it in the dishwasher and come back and buy another one later on. Uh, yeah, look, any any oil, any vegetable oil will do. It's just, you know, you, I, was, I was selling those for $12 a bottle, I think. And the bottle cost more than the stuff did. So I've got little labels and that made up for them. But give us some ideas. Be about it. Have some fun. Well, that just about does it for me today because I'm getting a bit hungry. Um, Tango, thanks for that idea, mate. Brilliant. I might even get a bit further down the track on that one uh, during the week. I'll see if I can do another stream during the week. just depends how the week pans out with all the kids at home. Um, 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 do you have any questions, queries that you didn't ask me? By all means, email me, admin at woodworkingmasterclass.com.au. Leave some comments. If you like and you use the channel, please hit the subscribe button. I'd appreciate that. I'm trying to get my numbers up. Um, I sort of levelled out there for a bit, but then it started to climb. So any subs are more than welcome. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll definitely be streaming next Monday, everything going to plan. Um, I think this is about it. Yeah. I'll just check any late, any late thingos. Max, thanks. Ray, thanks. MC, yep. Everyone else has joined in. Thank you so much for those that are sitting on the sidelines and aren't quite game to get in and have a chat. By all means, come in and have a chat. You got any woodwork and relating questions? I'm happy to stop what I'm doing to give you the answer if I can. Today was a bit different, but I'm so pleased and thank you, everyone, for allowing me the time to fix my bandsaw table up and my sander table so I can get back into it as soon as I leave here. Um, this I've got to go to the shops. Good chance I'll go to the shops and have a coffee. You never know. So that's it. G'day back to you, David. Thanks, Max. Thanks, Brian. Thanks, Ray. Thanks, Tango. I think I've done all that. So this is Steve pulling the shed door down and saying, remember to keep it sharp. But more importantly, keep it safe. Look after yourself. Be kind to each other. And don't buy too much toilet paper. And I look forward to having your company at a workshop at the bench very, very soon. Till then, good night, good afternoon, good morning. See you later. Bye for now. Thanks, Tango. Appreciate that. Hard out energy to you too. Cheers.